Hello everyone, I am spiritual teacher and intuitive healer Matthew John. Thank you so much for joining me, whether you're watching on YouTube or Instagram. I really, really appreciate you so much. I've been saying for a while on my YouTube channel that I'm going to start making uh, some videos on tarot, and here you go. Here's my first tarot video. This is called the 11 best, luckiest, most auspicious cards to get in a tarot reading. And this is in no particular order. Uh, I'm not saying that one is better or more lucky than the other. They're all lucky in their own way. And this is valid for if you happen to be someone who reads reversals when you look at tarot, as I do, this is valid for the upright uh, meanings only. If you are someone who reads reversals and you get it reversed, it can be a totally different meaning. Okay, It can often mean the opposite. Um, so this is for, for upright only. Or if you're someone who doesn't read reversals, if you just uh, read the card the same, whether it's upright or reversed, then that works too. Okay, uh, so starting with the Major Arcana. The first card in the Major Arcana, the Magician card. And of course, we're using the Rider Waite. This is what uh, I have been using for pretty much most of my life uh, since I've been interested in tarot. And it's my favorite. Uh, it's kind of like the OG of the tarot, so to speak. So I really like using the Rider Waite. And in my upcoming tarot class, which I'll talk about at the end, uh, I will be having everyone use the Rider Waite deck. So as you can see uh, in the Magician card, it shows a man who looks like a wizard and he's got a wand up in the air. He seems to be calling in divine energy to manifest, to create. And he's got the, uh, the wand, the pentacle, the sword, and the cup on the table showing that he can work with all the elements. He can create anything that he wants to. So this card is a card of manifestation. So if you're looking to manifest something in your life, a new job, a new career, a new relationship, uh, money, you want to win something, whatever it is. The Magician card, if this comes up in a reading, this is a great card, very auspicious for creating, winning, manifesting. My all-time favorite card in the tarot, number 19 in the Major Arcana, the Sun card. The Sun card shows a bright, beautiful, kind of smiling sun. I always perceive the sun as smiling and a child, very happy, playful, having fun. This is also the card of the inner child. You can see there's a, a, a horse, um, a white horse, and there's sunflowers, and it's a bright blue sky, and it's just, it gives off an energy of happiness, contentedness, and just all things going really well. So this is a great card. This is a, a very strong card too. If this comes up in a reading and there happens to be some eh, maybe not so lucky or some kind of negative cards around, this will usually, if it's nearby, kind of trump those uh, quote unquote negative cards. It's a super strong card, okay? The sun card, it means happiness, success, all good things, okay? The star card, this is probably my second favorite card in the deck. It shows a naked woman and she is pouring water into a stream. It's a very watery card. It's a very earthy, uh, kind of naturey card connecting with the elements. And we've got the seven Pleiadian sisters, the stars. I don't know if you knew that. This represents the seven Pleiadian sisters. Uh, so it this card directly relates to the Pleiades. And of course we've got um, the large star there, which represents, um, you, you, one could say it represents the galactic center, perhaps. Um, one could also say it represents the sun. Um, there's different interpretations of that. But uh, the star card is super auspicious, especially when it comes to a health reading. So if you pick this up in a health reading for yourself or someone else, this is great that someone is pretty likely to, to heal. Um, so this is really, really good for health. It's also really good for relationships that are going to heal or a home. It has a lot to do with home life because there's a lot of cancer energy in here and it can be really auspicious for a home situation improving. Pretty much anything this touches, it will improve. The Wheel of Fortune card. This one is a really lucky card. It's all about fortune. It also is about karma. This card can also be about karma, but uh, I think that it really has more to do with karma when it's in the reverse position. In the upright position, it generally has to do with good luck, winning. It has a lot of Jupiter energy with it um, and a Sagittarius energy as well as, as uh, Jupiter rules Sagittarius and vice versa. Um, it's just a card... 
uh, uh, showing like being helped out by divine forces, uh, getting spiritual help from above, and especially like winning. You know, if you're looking to win something, this would be the best card to get. If you're looking to see if you're gonna get that job, this would be a great card to get. Or if anything's gonna work out, even a relationship, you know, will this work out? And you get this card, yeah, it's really good luck. Or just general good luck, you know, having, you know, we've all had periods in our life, hopefully you're in one right now, where just things are just falling into place and you're just finding good luck at every corner and this would be a great card for that. Moving on to the minor arcana, the Ace of Pentacles. So this is the first card in uh, the Pentacles group and it uh, depicts a, uh, an arm coming through a cloud uh, holding up a pentacle. Pentacles have to do with money. It's uh, the earth sign as well. And um, you can see this looks like a really auspicious scene here where uh, there's mountains in the background and this beautiful kind of reef door. I don't know what you would call that, but that you can walk through and it just looks like a kind of a, a wealthy space, you know, a very well uh, kind of kept and organized uh, manicured yard. Um, and it's the card of manifestation, especially when it comes to business opportunities, career opportunities. It can also be good for a relationship as well. Anything new that you're starting, if you pick up the Ace of Pentacles card, this is gonna be a really good card. And kind of like the Sun card, if you pick up the Ace of Pentacles card in a reading, this can trump other kind of negative cards that are around it. It's a very strong card. It's one of the stronger, if not arguably the strongest positive minor arcana card um so this is just really good luck for anything in your life but especially business career money opportunities it can also mean winning something as well the nine of pentacles sticking with the pentacles group it depicts a woman who appears to be very wealthy there's the nine pentacles around her she's out in a garden with grapes again it looks like she's owning or, or a part of a, a pretty wealthy property uh, she's got a bird on her hand, and she um, seems to just be doing really good in life, you know? She seems to be really proud of herself, and this um, represents success. It represents success in whatever endeavor you are looking for. Uh, this is a great card to get. It, it can also kind of show long-term financial success as well, uh, something that's going to stick. It also um, represents success as a woman, especially, um, or it, it represents a powerful, successful woman. Because sometimes in, in tarot, when you're doing spreads, uh, you might see people in the cards. And sometimes the cards, especially the court cards like the, um, the king or the queen um, or the knight or the page, they can often represent people, although not always. Um, in this case, if it were to represent someone, it would be a powerful woman. As I said, if it's not a person, it's representing success, either as a woman um, or it's just success in general, even if you're not a woman. The Ten of Pentacles. Uh, this can represent, um, this is arguably even more of a success card than the Nine of Pentacles. The only difference is the Nine of Pentacles has to do more with individual success, while the Ten of Pentacles has to do more with success as a group. This would especially apply to like a corporation or a family, or it could just mean individual success, but you're making money for your family, or you're making money for your community, okay? Or it can represent a project that you've worked on with other people and you've had great success with, okay? Uh, you can see it's just a very, it's, it's a Capricorn card. There's a guy who kind of looks like a king. Um, he seems to have, uh, looks like a wife and, and uh, perhaps a son. Uh, well, there's two kids. There's an there's older one and a younger one. Uh, two sons, perhaps, and a couple of dogs. And he's just sitting in his chair, and he's super proud of the kingdom that he's created. You know, he's worked really hard for this. This is a card of culmination of long-term success. It can also mean, just, just as the nine of... Um, pentacles can sometimes specifically mean success as a woman. This can sometimes specifically mean success as a man, since it's a very Capricorn card, which uh, has to do with kind of a patriarchal um, energy sometimes, and uh, it does depict a, depict a king here, okay? Great card, especially for business stuff. This doesn't really relate too much with relationships, except to show 
that a relationship it can it would mean if it were to it would mean that a relationship would be fruitful basically that and and also it can mean that two people are going to make money together if they're in a relationship the nine of cups moving on to the cups which are the water sign cards and the nine of cups is the card of uh, your wishes coming true okay so it depicts nine cups and this guy is looking like I did it he's like yeah I just did it look at me that's really what this guy uh, is is thinking uh, it seems like so anything you wish for you know imagine if you were to uh, wish uh, to a genie for something wonderful to come into your life um, whether it's a new relationship a new car a new house um, a new job a new career better health whatever it is this is the card of success with whatever you're wishing for okay the ten of cups this is a card it depicts a very happy family okay a happy a happy man a happy woman uh, looks like there's um, it's either two daughters or a son and a daughter it's hard to tell um, and they seem to uh, be looking over their very um, nice farm and the ten of cups is creating a rainbow in the sky and the rainbow is of course a universal symbol of good luck right in all endeavors um, so this is a card of really really good luck um, and especially having to do with success in a relationship um, harmony in the family in a business in a purely business context it could be talking about harmony in a business harmony you know especially if you own the business it could be talking about harmony among employees it could be talking about a really really great you know quarterly report coming up um, but it really kind of more specifically oftentimes has to do with success in relationships if, the, if you're in a relationship and you you want it you want it to last long term you're hoping it lasts long term this would be the card you would want to get and moving on to um, wands, we've got the uh, four of wands, and this is the card of celebration. Okay, as you can see, um, it kind of looks like uh, just got done with a wedding or something, or um, some sort of party, uh, celebrating something. And this is really the card of celebrating your success. So you've been working hard to win something, and you finally did. Now you get to celebrate. You've been working hard to. Um, you know, break last quarter's revenue and you finally did and you get it. You've been working hard uh, to make a relationship work. It finally works and you're celebrating now. So this is the card of celebration. So it's, a, it's good luck for, for anything at all that you want because you're celebrating its success. And finally, the six of wands. This is the card of recognition. As you can see, it's a very regal looking man on a horse coming home and there's people around him and the people appear to perhaps not be on horses and he's coming home on the horse the horse represent he's being revered he's being looked at as a success and he's coming home and people are really excited and and so it's a card of recognition this might be for example if you are writing a book and, and you wanted to know if the book's gonna be a success if you were to draw this card it might mean that you will be recognized for the book, that it'll get great reviews, that people will buy it, that people will talk about it. If uh, you're looking to, you know, maybe launch a new uh, product or a new um, type of service or something, it and you got this card, it, it might be saying that it will be very well received, that people are going to like this, that people are going to buy it. Okay, so this is a really, really excellent card uh, to get, especially in business context. Uh, it's not so much a relationship card. Um, but in business context, it's great or just in general. It means really being seen in a positive light and being well received uh, By people in your life and by people around you and by people in your community as well Okay, so that's the 11 luckiest most auspicious best cards to get in a tarot reading Thank you so much for watching that and I am as I mentioned earlier doing a tarot course I'm teaching a tarot course first time I have done this in an online setting First time I've done a tarot course this intense, this comprehensive, okay? It's going to be 10 weeks, 10 weeks of two hour plus Zoom calls. If you know me, you've ever been on my webinars, you know if I say it's an hour and a half or two hours, I usually go a little bit over. I like to give people a little bit extra. So it's going to be over 20 hours and you're going to get a certification at the end that says that you have completed however many hours we end up doing, whether it's 22 hours or 24 hours or whatever, 
of comprehensive tarot course study with Matthew John. So you can have this certification to show off or just to have as a keepsake. But we're gonna go in comprehensively through the 10 weeks, learn the tarot step by step. If you're a beginner, great. If you've never touched a tarot card in your life, great. If you're an intermediate, great. This is for anyone from no experience at all to intermediate experience. If you're advanced, you could do this too, but you might already know a lot of the information in here. Um, the first week, we're gonna start with the Major Arcana. The second week, we'll also do the Major Arcana, and then we'll go into the Minor Arcana, we'll go into spreads, and then we'll go into practice for the last two weeks where we'll actually be doing live readings for one another. It's gonna be a small, intimate group on Zoom, okay, uh, with video. And right now, I've got five signups as of the date that this is released, I'm being very honest. I was hoping for a little bit more by now, but five is great. Um, but I really want to get the signups rolling more. I'm hoping to have a, a group of anywhere between 10 and 20. Over, 10, over 20 would be way too overwhelming, so I think we're gonna cap it at 20. But anywhere between 10 and 20 would be perfect. It starts on August 28th. Okay, it's gonna be Saturdays from five o'clock New York time uh, to about seven or 7.15. Uh, that's four o'clock Chicago time. Uh, 2 o'clock LA time. It's going to be 10 p.m. in London, 7 a.m. in Sydney, Australia, or Melbourne, Australia. Okay, so wherever you are in the world, it should be a time that'll work for you. Um, and so what I want to do is the next person that signs up and pays in full, I'm going to give you 11% off. Okay, so if you look at the rate right now, it is 555 for the 10 weeks. Oh, and you also get a free reading with me. You get a free 45 minute reading with me. Okay. Um, and you can go to my website to read the details and the disclaimers about the readings that I do. But you get a free 45 minute reading with me included in this. Um, so it's 555 for the 10 weeks. If you divide it into the number of hours that we're going to be doing, it's actually a really, really good deal. Uh, and you're going to, by the end, and by the end of the course, you should absolutely be proficient at reading tarot. You could do it for your friends or who knows, it might be something you'd like to start as a business. So, registration link is below. Though, if you wanna be the first person to uh, get the 11% off deal, I do need you to email me at youareadivinehuman at gmail.com, and that's below as well. If you miss off on the 11% off discount, what you can do is you can put down a $200 deposit that will reserve your virtual seat, okay? And then you can pay off the rest by August 23rd. August 23rd will be the deadline to pay the course off in full. I accept PayPal, credit card, and debit card. Okay, everyone, if you have any questions about the tarot course, the details are below, but if you have any other questions that aren't explained, please email me. It's youaredivinehuman at gmail.com. And also, if you're someone who's been thinking about doing one of my spiritual mentoring packages for a while, now would be a great time. I'm enrolling people for August, to get started in August, second half of August, but in August and I'm giving a $100 discount off the tarot course if you enroll in my spiritual mentoring package, and that deal will be valid for a while, so don't worry about having to get that deal right now. Okay, everyone, so uh, thank you so much for joining me. Please do me a big favor, like and subscribe to this channel. This channel, I'm right now doing one video a month. In the future, by the winter time, I do hope to increase that to two videos a month. Right now, it'll be one and I'm looking forward to speaking to you in the next video. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the Higher Self channel so you can listen to my new and full moon podcast. And also my new and full moon podcasts are now available on Spotify. So if you are a podcast person, uh, you really like podcasts, I'm gonna, uh, I'll put the link below to my Spotify channel if you wanna subscribe there. Okay, everyone, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Namaste.